This is the Ridge Report, Niagara University's student-produced newscast. Get a glimpse into campus news and upcoming events. Today's stories, Martin Luther King Week, the NU Short Play Festival, NU students travel to Panama, hypnotist Josh Seth comes to campus, and student Crystal Lorenzo forms a mental health awareness club on campus. Welcome, I'm Alan Trinka. The first day of the spring semester featured classes and a host of Martin Luther King Jr. tribute events. Talks and workshops ran throughout the day, and students could sign up to vote, help sort shoes for community service, and help create a paper mural of their own dreams. The highlight of the day was a keynote lecture delivered by Dr. Derek King, nephew of Martin Luther King. He spoke in Castellani Art Museum about the need to continue struggling for justice using peaceful protests. The first two weekends of the spring semester featured NU's annual short play festival. There were three different cycles of plays in the span of two weekends, with each cycle featuring five or six individual ten-minute plays. The plays are chosen and directed by students, and all other aspects of the production are student-run as well. This year, one of the short plays was written by NU student Megan Kempel. We sat down with Megan and student director Brianna Lenoy. We had about two months to kind of meal over plays and pick pick one that we thought would um, portray something we wanted to share with the audience. And I was searching through books and I couldn't find anything and then Megan suggested her plays and I read them and all of them are very fresh and exciting but this one was my favorite. So I decided to uh, choose it and I think it was extremely engaging with audiences, a relatable subject, something new and different and I also kind of a feminist and wanted to incorporate the female role in society and how it's changed and how it's um, judged by others. So. It's kind of a look at the other woman as a real person mm -hmm. who has real feelings. Who has <laughs> real feelings, which I don't think people, um, at least in our social commentary, like to admit. One of the cool things was that I'm also in the directing class, so I got to see it from acting and then writing and then directing all at the same time. So mm -hmm. it was a very cool process for me. Each winter break features a service trip organized by campus ministry. This year, a group of NU students traveled all the way to Panama. This trip to Panama is available every other year. Students are able to experience the Panamanian way of life and visit orphanages and nursing homes. NU students returning from the trip described it as life-changing. The one thing I took away is just how lucky as a country we are. Everything there was so different. The whole country, like, infrastructure is just so poor. They don't even have hot water. So it's just a lot different, and as a whole country, even the rich people in Panama have it nowhere near as good as we do. The place that sticks out to me the most was an indigenous village called Saloy, and the people there were literally the poorest of the poor. They lived in huts in the mountains, and we climbed the mountains to see them, and they got all their own food from everything they lived with, but they were the most faithful people I've ever met in my life. So yeah, they were extremely economically poor, but they were very rich in their faith. And they made us, I think, the most delicious dinner that we had there. And it was just like pasta and chicken and rice and stuff like that. But just like it came from a lot of meaning and they were just so happy to have us there. And so that's kind of what I got the most out of it was they had so little, but had so much to give. I think the biggest was how simple everything is, like the whole culture is so simple. Everything is a community effort, it's not individual. There's no concept of time, you never have to be on time, you're never on your smartphones, like it was just an amazing experience like that and I think that is why like right now we all want to do more stuff to give back to them, so. On Wednesday, January 25th, renowned hypnotist Josh Seth performed in Dunleavy. He captivated his audience by hypnotizing students and making them do outrageous things like rapping in Japanese, speaking alien, and driving an invisible car. Freshman Crystal Lorenzo acknowledged a need on NU's campus, the need for a mental health awareness group. So, with support from her fellow students and psychology professor Dr. Osberg, Crystal started up a local chapter of the National to Write Love on Her Arms movement. The first meeting of the semester was very successful. The group focuses on providing support and awareness for peers struggling with depression, anxiety, loneliness, and other mental health issues. I think my biggest thing is that a, a community is formed, like a really strong community of people who really do care about each other, and it's more than just, you know, the surface relationships, and, and that people know that they're cared for, and that people they have somewhere to go if they have a problem. So, just really good 
connections with other people, I think is the biggest thing. That's all for now. Tune in next time to get more info on campus news and upcoming events, or visit our website at www.niagara.edu. I'm Alan Trinka, and thank you for watching The Ridge Report.